Hello, listeners. So today we are going to listen to a very old track or one of the initial tracks of Atif Aslam. Uh, it's called Bhigi Atif. So this track actually was part of Jal's composition as well. Um, but Atif, Atif went on to create his own version uh, and he released his first album called Jal Pari. And this track was there. So Jal sang that particular song as well and Atif sang this particular song as well. Both have different versions, different kind of rendition. I personally like this one, although I am a Jal fanboy, but I still like this version more. And I'll tell you why after we listen to this particular track. So should we get started? Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting to hear that. All right, three, two, one, play. <clears throat> okay, he's singing in the rain. Yeah. Very subtly. Na me janu Na tu jane Kaisa hai ye alam Koi na jane फिर क्यों है ये तन्हाई कैसी है ये रुसवाई तुम हो गए एक्जैक्टली किक्स यू the drummer Oh, 
Oh. <coughs> okay. All right. Pure nostalgia. Pure nostalgia. This song was my youth anthem. <coughs> <coughs> How is that? <coughs> I mean, Adat was was a rage. We all know. Um, and after that, if there was any track which I used to listen to a lot, it was this version of Biggie Adam. And the reason I love this particular track is that this is the Atif I really miss. Um, he was destined to be an amazing singer always because of his, um, obviously, he's an amazing vocalist. But I kind of miss um, Atif, who was a rock singer, right? Who used to perform in the concert, who used to perform with the band. Um, he went on to an entirely different solo journey. He created some of his own songs as well. But um, he got attention of Bollywood, which did not sit well <laughs> with me at all. So uh, he was really, he was appreciated throughout the Bollywood. People love him. Um, there is a huge fan following in India as well because of the songs that he did in uh, for, for the movies. But Atif, for me, is always going to be this, this Atif. He, he is the kind of crazy vocalist that you want to listen to during the concert and he used to uh, influence the music of his tracks because if, if you listen to Volamhe sung by Jal, it was a melodious track. It was also a very good rendition, well done. But this, exactly. was, a, this was a crazy version. He used to influence that within the band as well. He was <clears> the <throat> definition of craziness. If you listen to his first album, all the tracks are just pure gold, pure gold. And that's why I, I completely miss him now. Atif, come on, come back. <laughs> you know exactly what I was thinking that um, hearing this track from Atif, this particular rendition, it feels like you're listening it at 1.5x. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think at, after Bollywood, he kind of matured matured or grew up hmm. or grew out grew out this Atif. He grew out yes right he kind of grew out of this Atif and um, <clears throat> previously he was a total rock star mm -hmm. absolute rock star <clears throat> uh, after that he kind of went through a furnace and came out as a all-round singer mm. right yeah he was far more all-rounder uh, he worked on a lot of different things. Yes. Um, yeah, you know, polished the edges. Mm. But actually the raw, rough edges yeah. was what made Atif Atif. <laughs> exactly. Right? But but also we have a bias towards the old Atif because, again, we were mm. children when these songs came out and uh, we grew up listening to these songs and we just miss, as you were saying, that we miss that kind of, that, that Atif, Atif. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, yeah, um, I can share that when I was a child and uh, used to listen to this track, uh, early teenager, right? mm. um, I I mean, this just evoked one thought in my mind that what it would be like to be in a relationship. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So this, uh, yeah. Uh, a lot of the songs in that era, especially from Aro, Jal, mm. you know, the romantic, the romantic, um, yeah, <clears throat> the romantic songs that uh, evoked these kind of thinking. Th this particular track is also about passion. You know? mm. It's not about separation. It's not about uh, yeah. missing someone. It's not about. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's it's just about passion. Yeah, you know, वो लम्हे वो वो रात है. Yeah. So it's I I was always wondered that what that passion would feel like. Hmm. And at that time, in that age, <laughs> that was, uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this <it's> <laughs> very very weird memories. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You, I mean, we all used to be pretty young, 14, 15, or, yeah. And, I mean, we were single, so we, we would wonder. <laughs> we, were, 
<laughs> we're single. <laughs> we were single, so uh, yeah. what yeah. tragedy? <laughs> it was it was tragic in its own sense. Yes, <laughs> listening to these songs. <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, um, musically, you can still feel that the song is pretty raw in arrangement and everything. Sometimes you feel yes. that the drummer is just going beyond his limits. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just doing everything. It was like an AK-47. <laughs> 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 but but that was the passion and craziness that I that I resonated exactly. towards. And um, I, I also like the the guitar work in this particular track. I'm forgetting the name. Probably you might know or you might not know. Um, the guitar was done by um, Misha Shafi's husband. I'm forgetting his name. Um, uh, yeah. <clears throat> but, I mean, he was a very amazing musician. He still is. He still does yeah, work with him. Yeah. He still does work with... Uh, Misha Shafi as well. Uh, and even actually, back I then, don't know. I don't know the um, who are playing drums or guitars, bass in this particular song. I have no idea, and it says nowhere. But yeah. anyways, uh, it was. I used to I have. I the, used to have the cassette of this album, and there were credits given behind the yeah, yeah, yeah. cassette case and everything. <clears> and I'm completely forgetting the name. Uh, but I'll dig it up again because I still remember. Mm-hmm. Probably it was Vakar Ali of EP, uh, Vakar not Vakar Ali uh, of EP who did the drum or someone else. But he was someone within that circle who we knew. Uh, but I'm completely forgetting. Right. Uh, for our listeners, I would also uh, I wonder uh, if that song made any waves hmm. elsewhere outside of Pakistan. And what kind of waves, mm-hmm. right? Uh, where was it played? Uh, were this played in colleges? You know, in what settings? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this particular song. I mean, the beauty of this song is that this song can be sung in various settings. It yes. can be sung without any instruments. You know, you're just sitting by the fire or in a group of friends um, and with a chorus or you can just go acoustic yes. you know just with the guitar and that works perfectly yes this is the beauty of the song yeah. actually a lot of the songs from early Jal and Atif Correct. could be played just with a guitar yes you know yeah or you are sitting with anything with some percussions and yeah. you just can play it yeah right so uh, we used to do that yeah absolutely <laughs> I still remember, I think we did it in one of the picnics uh, of early university days. It came out pretty bad, but still, we tried. So, <laughs> But yeah, these yeah, were the anthems. Chaos. Yeah, these yeah. were the anthems who, um, we, we used to listen to, we used to perform to, enjoy with friends together. And you, you, pose, you basically pose the right question that, we would love to know from our viewers what they perceived about this track. How was it taken? I know Jal has a very huge following um, in Bangladesh back then, or they used to have. In India. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it would be great to know from our viewers what they uh, perceive about this particular track and if they have heard this version because Jal's version is quite popular. I can tell you that in Pakistan, especially in Karachi, um, this was played in all the cars, cars, cars not the buses. All not the, the cars. Buses, buses had, <laughs> yeah, buses had their own genre <laughs> of music, <laughs> right? They, yeah, in buses you never had these up and coming artists. They no. never played it, but in cars, you know, so young guns, young people, young folks. Yeah. Um, they take out the car just to play the song. Just to play right the now. song. Just to go, <laughs> yeah, just to go on a very long drive and play the entire album. People used to do that. Yeah. And yeah, they force others to listen as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the setting back then. True. All right. So this was a trip down to the memory lane. Um, but thank you for experiencing with us. And we'll try to dig up such songs from the past as well. We did uh, with Janoon as well. We did with Vital Science and Janet Jamshed. Uh, we're coming to Atif. We did some of gel stuff as well. But yeah, we'll keep on exploring. So thank you so much for watching it with us. And recommend if you have any track that you want us to 
listen to together. Exactly. And we'll definitely give it a go. Thank you so much for watching it with us and stay safe and take care of yourself. Goodbye.